My name is Matt Winter. I'm a wildlife and nature photographer and writer based in New Zealand. That's me on the right. The other bloke is Aaron. He's a good bugger and has been my good mate for close to 30 odd years. Both of us are really keen and passionate bow hunters. My weapon of choice is a traditional longbow, whereas Aaron prefers a compound bow. We do many trips each year chasing game animals such as red and fallow deer. Wild pigs and goats. As well as alpine chamois and tar. Although hunting is the catalyst of our trips, the ultimate goal of securing an animal is actually right near the bottom of our list of reasons for getting out into the hills. For both of us, our missions are all about getting out of town, into the backcountry, and immersing ourselves in nature and all she has to offer. The peacefulness, the scenery, the bird life and simply the chance to escape We also share the same moral and ethical values when it comes to hunting, so our attitudes and outlooks are generally in tune with each other, which makes all our trips very easy going with lots of humour, laughs and banter. Taking of an animal is very much just the icing on top of what is already a pretty large cake. Along with those things also come the challenges of some very physical terrain and the notoriously changeable weather here in New Zealand, which requires a lot of mental and emotional fortitude to overcome. We started hunting Himalayan tar in the Southern Alps a bit more seriously back in the late 90s. We tried to get at least two week-long trips in each year and always in South Western as we love the challenges of hunting that type of steep, bluffy and scrubby country. Aaron was hoping to one day secure a 12-inch bull tar with his compound bow, a personal goal you could say. Me, on the other hand, I figured that any tar with a long bow was a really good achievement. And so commenced seven years of some truly memorable trips. Not all for the same reasons, of course. Some involved some shocking, soul-destroying weather and few opportunities, while other trips gave us many fine days with good animal numbers. We also had some success. Well. Aaron did at least. He managed to take a total of three nanny tar over those seven years, but the elusive 12 inch bull still eluded him. Which brings us to our Landsborough Valley trip in November of 2017. In one single day during that week, after eight years of trying, the stars aligned, Lady Luck smiled on us, and everything came together for us both. Eight years, one day. Welcome 
to our first full day in the Landsborough. So we got up early this morning and uh, came upstream and went up the first major side creek. Yeah, just carried on up the main creek and or well, just about an hour ago we came across a couple of um, tar in the creek and because they were right beside the river um, any of our noise crossing the shingle was drowned out. Anyway, long story short, I got into about 10 metres and was just about to take a shot and there was an unseen nanny. Saw me and bolted and took the other one with it, unfortunately. That's probably been my best chance for a tar so far, 10 metres. You're not every day getting 10 metres on a tar, eh? No, I don't know. It was just, yeah, bad timing with, with when the nanny took off. So we're just having lunch and no doubt we have a bit of a kip, eh? <laughs> we found this nice, cozy. nice flat spot with this nice comfy moss. <laughs> Okie doke, we're on the second full day now. I just poked up one of the numerous other side creeks off the Landsborough and we got about halfway up, about oh, a good two, two and a half hours into it. And we're walking along the edge of the bush, um, trying to get around a steep bit in the creek, and just happened to glance over the other side. We've just seen a, a big bull on the other side of the creek feeding in that scrub. He hasn't seen us yet, so Aaron's going to see if he can sneak over there and locate him again. And get a shot, hopefully. Looked like he was on his own. Just quietly feeding in that scrub he was. Here he comes. What's the verdict? Oh, bum. Never mind, with crack Nigel. Yeah, so we just carried on up another couple of hours up the creek and Aaron saw a couple of young animals in the creek bed and so the wind was still going down. So I basically just um, used all the cover I could and at the end of the day got into about 10 or 11 metres and they're completely unaware of me. Stood out from beside the piece of scrub I was behind let it go and it was quartered away from me and I was trying to hit that last rib so it would angle up into the chest cavity but it went slightly left and hit it um, in the back leg unfortunately but anyway it ran across the creek so we came up here had a bite to eat and it's been what three hours? Yep, three hours yeah. yeah. Three hours since I shot it so it should either be a, a dead tar or a Hopefully not one of those epic mm. blood trails, but anyway, hopefully, because it's been my first tar, I've been chasing them with a bow for about, well I've been bow hunting well over 20 years, but only seriously after tar for the last eight, and I've just had bad luck over the years, done numerous trips, and um, just lucked out each time, so... This tar's been eight years in the making if I get it. <laughs> well, the wall's covered, eh? Yeah. It was a hard case. I, um, just after I shot it up there this morning, I, um, you know, you get that all that excitement and adrenaline and leg shaking. I'd have to admit, I actually started crying. It's like I say, it's just the relief of um, eight years of hard work, time and effort. So fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Pays off. Fingers crossed. We'll let you know. That's where that the tar ran across the creek there. Ran up that face. Went in the bush there, and that was the last we saw of it. So here's hoping she's not too far in there, up moccasins. Well, Aaron pinpointed me to where we last saw her, and well, holy heck! 
That blood trail took all of five minutes. Aaron stayed down in the creek. I climbed up to where we last saw it. There was blood every yard or so. I just, <laughs> oh geez. I um, just poked my head around this corner here. And uh, oh, there she is right there, piled up. Not, not even 10 yards from where we last saw her. Stoked, absolutely stoked. Top notch. What do you reckon? Oh, yes, just amazing achievement, eh? Eight years of hard work and to do it with a long bow as well. It's just, yeah, well deserved, man. We go to better men. Uh, just a quick update. We're heading our way back down the creek and um, just a couple of hundred metres below where we saw the bull in the scrub this morning, um, we found him again. He was out in the creek bed this time. Um, we jumped inside the bush edge, went down the other side opposite him and, uh, man, I'm shaking. <laughs> um, we had to quickly go downstream to get um, get the wind right, what little he was. Anyway, long story short, he travelled down the creek a lot faster than we anticipated and he um, ended up getting the jump on us a wee bit. Um, so yeah, Aaron got a shot at about 40 metres across the creek and looks like it's, it's hit him low, unfortunately, but um, definitely got him. So it's about 7 o'clock now, we've got only a couple of hours light left, we're going to give it an hour and have a look at the blood trail and if it's good we might keep chasing it up, if not we'll come back in the morning. I think coming back in the morning might be the better option actually. But man he was a big bull from what we could see from his horns, just a lone old fella. Ah, exciting times, good stuff. Another situation update, we um, popped over the creek just to see if we could find if there was any blood where he entered the bush and there was and we followed it up, just a few drips here and there, Aaron sort of went on ahead and saw a wee game trail with some fresh scuff marks on it, he popped up onto this little terrace and um, I'll let him tell the story. So I cut up on this wee terrace here. I'm terrible at tracking. Matt's a tracker. I just, I've got the patience side. You tend to go as an advanced party, yeah, eh? Yeah, Matt, Matt follows the blood <laughs> and I just go ahead and hoping. And this time I cut up on this, as Matt said, there's a wee track with scuff marks. I came up on it and the bull was, whether he was bedded or not, I don't know, but he was standing just in that fern side on looking at me at 40 metres. So I put another one into him. Um, I don't know how good it was. It wasn't a great shot, so I've got to apologise for that, but I'm shaking. It's fucking, the old buck fever's got me, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, and so... Um, I can understand that. Poor bugger. But he uh, he crashed across his face, he had a hill crash. But interestingly, as he was running, he sort of angled a wee bit downhill. Um, the last I heard was up in, some, up in some scrub up here, so crash, crash, and then it stopped, so... Oh. But, um... Yeah, I got lucky, I guess. Yeah, I didn't deserve another chance, but I got one. And yeah, I just hope I didn't fluff it. So, we'll see, but... Man, I was shaking. His horns, eh? That's yeah, <laughs> big. All that stood out to me was... I just came up and was like, holy... His horns are big. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty awesome. He's a beautiful animal, so... I just hope I could do him justice. Um, yeah, oh, well. it's bow hunting, I guess, but... Um, man, adrenaline, eh? It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. You see this stuff. massive surge and this big dump, it's like, oof. Yeah. So, yeah, so. Well, we came up the creek this morning to start trying to track Aaron's bull. Oh, yeah. Hands and knees blood trailing for specks. 
just an incredible relief. <laughs> we found him. I don't know, I shot a few nannies, but I've always wanted a bull. And, uh, oh, man, it's been like eight long years, eh, mate? Yeah. What a day, we both got a... My yeah, first one. Got your first, and I got my first ball on the same day. We found him a day later, but we, we did it. Oh, man. Wouldn't... And I'll take my head off to Matt. I mean, like, he's like an old bloodhound. But luckily we found... Um, my second arrow this morning and we've got a blood trail from there we've been following or pretty much Matt's been following Speck since then um, I'll just try and keep out of his way <laughs> and uh, we came to this spot here I just said to Matt there's a blowfly and at the same time he turned around to me and just did the old I looked over and I'm too scared to look to be honest I haven't had a decent look at him <laughs> Stuff, to be honest. It's why we hunt, eh? Yeah. Especially, you know, eight odd years, we cover a few miles, and I've always wanted a bull, you know, it's just, and if he's good, I'm going to get him mounted. Sorry, Connie, but it's my wife. <laughs> but uh, if he's, yeah, it's just something I've always wanted, and to get him with a bow and with my good mate, it's just, phew, can't beat it. There again. Holy Jesus. The big body ace. Massive. Far out. I've never seen one this close. 